Hey everyone, this is Rajendran here, uh, joining from Market Calls, and welcome everyone to the tutorial on how to backtest a strategy and how we can build custom metrics on top of your backtesting report. So that, that is the ultimate uh, agenda for this tutorial. So, so one of the example I had taken is the wheel intra positional strategy on Bank Nifty. I'm going to backtest this strategy. I'm going to uh, take the backtesting data points and I'm going to build a metrics like this. So I'll, I'll be, I'm going to build a month on month profitability and I'm going to um, show how many months are profitable, how many uh, losing months are there, what is the maximum profit which has been uh, yielded in the last uh, uh, backtesting report and what was the maximum loss seen in a particular month. So that is what I'm going to do. Let's see how to do this. First, let me go to Miami broker. I'll open a new analysis so that I can do my backtesting. And the data points which I'm going to backtest is for the last uh, seven years, right from 2011 to 2018 June onwards, right? So it, that's, that's a hell of a lot of time to have an ample amount of data points. And I'm going to use the uh, one of the positional strategy here, wheel intra V5. And I'm going to make it as positional. So I'll bring it to positional mode. So by default, it will be in intraday. I'm going to make it as positional. And I'm going to set the settings here as uh, 10 lakhs of capital. So 10 lakhs of capital. I'm going to run the strategy on a 5 minute time frame. Enable futures mode. Uh, set the commission as 0 0.03 percentage. So these are the settings I'm going to use. And uh, the lot size I'm going to use here is the round lot size is 20 and the margin deposit is minus 10. Minus 10 represents 10 percentage uh, span margin and uh, the broker margin. So let's do a quick test between uh, 2011 to till to date. And uh, I'm going to run on uh, current symbol that is the Bank Nifty charts. Bank Nifty for the last seven years right from 2011 onwards. I'm pressing the backtest button. So once you press the backtesting button, automatically it yields you the uh, complete backtesting report when the trade entered, when the trade got exited, right? So and what is the profitability for, uh, and uh, you can go to the reports tab and you can check the complete details about the entire uh, statistic of your trading strategy. It explains how vulnerability or how profitable or how good or bad your trading system is all about. Now, what doesn't Tammy Broker, what Tammy Broker doesn't give is month on month profitability. Of course, they have a profitability table. So they have a profitability table here where you can extract a month on month backtesting uh, uh, results. And uh, there are tweaks you can do that. But uh, how I can understand that which is which month gives me the maximum profitability or which month gives me uh, uh, maximum losses and how I can understand how I can visualize those data points and uh, how many months are profitable. So these are the questions. Um, it's it's not easy to build an uh, ME broker, but yes, to some extent we can, uh, with the coding knowledge, we can manage it. But this tutorial is all about without coding knowledge, how we can build a, a simple metrics like this. So what, what I am going to do here is I'm going to copy the backtesting report in order to build that. I'm going to bring a new Excel sheet here. Here we go. Click on create, and I'm going to go to ME Broker backtesting report. I'm going to copy the entire backtesting report data points, and I'm going to bring it to the Excel, right? So, so once I'm done with that, I have to condition the date column here. So, I, what I'm going to do here is I'll do an and add one more column, and I'm going to segregate the date and time stamps. So, I'll say like. Um, Go to data, I'll say text to columns and uh, give a next, I'll say space. I'm going to separate the date and time section over here. I'll say next and finish. So now the date and time section got uh, segregated. So once the date and time got segregated, now what we have to do is that we have to go to uh, build the pivot table. So I'll go to insert, I'll say pivot table. And I need to select the entire uh, uh, table. The entire table got, got selected automatically. Uh, in Still, if it did not got uh, selected automatically, you go and select the entire uh, tables. So, And once it is done, um, what you have to do is it automatically you press OK. And where, where, you, where you want to place your uh, 
pivot table so probably i want to place my pivot table in the sheet too i'll say like i'm gonna place my pivot table over here okay um, i'm think i'll go to sheet one i'll select the entire uh, table and uh, where i have to choose my table i'm gonna place it in a location in sheet two over here press ok so first thing i want to have is i want to have the value section here i want to place my profitability in the value section here which is nothing but the sum of the profit and uh, the row labels here i want the date as my row labels so accordingly the uh, row basis the profitability will be calculated but still the date has to be formatted in the way uh, like i'll right click over here and i'll say field settings so under the field settings um, i think not under the field settings maybe i have to go to the group selection so i'll say i'll go to the i'll select the row labels and i'll say go to group selection i want in terms of months and in terms of years right so once i done this i'll get a uh, month on month basis uh, profitability but still uh, the column wise i need and uh, i need the date to be in the month format so i'll drag and drop the dates to the column labels so automatically now you'll be uh, getting the getting the pivot table which is required and uh, now we need to do a condition based coloring format so so that we can show like a heat map so we'll select the entire uh, monthly uh, data points of the month on month profitability go to the condition based coloring so which will be available under data i believe not under data probably under condition formatting under the home tab condition formatting say like highlight cell rules i'll say if it is greater than 0 then you are green fill with green dark green text right and uh, similarly i'm going to add one more condition formatting rules i'll say like highlight cell rules if it is less than zero if it is less than zero then fill with red and the uh, dark green text right so that's that's done over here and uh, at the same time it also gives me the, the pivot table also gives me the uh, monthly uh, only january month profitability on the columns and it also gives a grand total for the year so i can say like uh, yearly profits profit or loss or i'll say yearly pnl and i can also say like the row labels as here as here right now what i can do here is i can uh, i'm going to build an uh, uh, statistics based upon uh, the backtesting report so we are able to get the month on month profitability month on month profitability and uh, let's say I'll, I'll say profitable month i want to calculate the profitable month how many months are going to be profitable so profit profitable months or i'll say to go to it profit month months okay so profit months and i'm going to use a function called count if count if I'll say the entire range. I'm going to give the entire range, and I'm going to count the number of positive uh, uh, months. So in order to do that, I have to give the criteria as uh, I'm going to put a comma, and I'll say the criteria as within kind a of quotation. I'll say greater than zero. Right. So this will count the number of months which is having uh, profitability that is more greater than zero. We say like it's a profitable month. So it gives me 57 as the data point. And similarly, I'll, I'm going to get the losing months. So losing months, how many months I'm going to lose, right? So uh, I'm, I'm again going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put an uh, count if, let's say count if, and uh, I select the range. Now this time I'm going to say, after the comma, the criteria is within a quotation, I'll say less than zero. Right, so once I say less than zero, it's going to count me the total number of losing months, and uh, of course the total months 
total months total months is nothing but the sum of sum of these two values so that is a total months total out of 90 months 57 months are profitable and losing months are 33 right and at the same time uh, maybe i want to know which is my maximum profitable month so i'll say max profit month so max profit which month i'm gonna have here is i'll say like max of the entire uh, data range so i'm gonna get the maximum profitable month which is 6.7 lakhs and uh, max losing month max loss per month right so in order to do that i have to use a function minimum of the entire data range it's going to get me the maximum losing months so that is 2.4 lakhs and at the same time i also want to build a, a uh, i want to build a visualization of my profitability statement of month on month profitability so that we can have a fair idea like how much risk is involved in this kind of strategy so in order to do that what you can do is you can again go to the uh, place your uh, place your cursor on the pivot table and go to data i believe um, not data but what options from there you have an option to plot the pivot chart right so go, go and get the pivot chart and select columns here press ok so automatically you'll be getting a pivot chart which lists down your month on month profitability and uh, that tells about your uh, trading strategy probably in this case you can see that the maximum loss it is exceeding it's just one one of the month it is exceeding uh, 2.46 lakhs you can go on with a check back check why it is losing and there are other phases where it lost 1.9 lakhs in that month but on the other side uh, we have a profitable months like 6.7 lakhs and uh, uh, 5.9 lakhs and uh, uh, 6.7 lakhs again so based upon this we can prepare for the risk accordingly and uh, it, it's it gives a better visualization about your uh, trading strategy right so uh, i think uh, that's it with this from this uh, uh, webinar and uh, i guess uh, let's catch up with even more interesting uh, uh, tricks and tips on ami broker thank you